Hey Rich Nation, AJ Rich here, and welcome back to another Attack on Titan reaction. Today, we're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 16. Um, last time, uh, the whole world flipped in the sense of uh, seeing another perspective with Berthold kind of... Uh, taking control of the situation, him going from being scared to um, him acting just like the most calm we've seen him be, him like appearing for one, um, uh, but to him be, it being inside that uh, that uh, intelligent Titans uh, thing on his back. But I, I just seeing him, I, I, I addressed that at the end of last episode, but seeing him the way he was made me think like, feel for their side more especially how marco died and all that but they they did feel for him uh at the same time but the whole thing just made me think like who's the bad guy who's the good guy who's right who's wrong both sides looked bad in one case or the other that was like the thing that i was kind of dissecting last episode like the the entire um i mean they're both like in reality, Armin, Aaron, and theirs are in deep shit because, uh, you know, Berthold's trans transformed. He's a colossal titan. We learned that they can have, uh, they can enhance their abilities like Aaron does. Um, we learned they're called, uh, like, those two are called titan shifters or titan shifters drink. So that means they must be titan shifters. And, um, chieftain someone named zeke is uh and is with them and that's the beast titan so the whole thing is very very crazy the whole world is going crazy it's just the entire thing is crazy to me i i <laughs> i i'm like my my entire freaking uh mind got blown like it usually does but i was able to break it down really well uh and i feel like i i broke it down so make sure you guys watch the um the outros uh, or the endings after the uh reaction because i i'm going very heavy into detail on these more um thorough episodes with lots of details and lots of discoveries um i'm taking pauses and all that good stuff anyway i don't want to make these intros super long um I'm going to try to shorten these intros a bit uh, and change them up a little bit. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start here. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I, I would appreciate that if you subscribe and uh, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash AJRich123 for the full reactions and early releases. Um, you know, you'll get a couple episodes ahead. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. Really? Oh, he's doubting himself now? He, now he's doubting himself. That is not good for a situation like this at all. You change the leadership like that is a way to fail a lot of the time. And that's what Armin's specialty is. Yeah, he's, he's not a coward. <laughs> We can just tell he, he seems like he he doesn't even care. Like he he knows he's gonna win. That's what it feels like. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? The hell is that? What the fuck? What did he just do? Oh! Ma! One fucking! He killed that many people with one throw. Is there people left? Like, <laughs> Jesus! This is just him splitting rocks. It's a fucking bloodbath! Fucking murders on the horizon! Murder, she wrote! Yeah, they don't have a chance. If he can spit rocks and kill people, yeah. No chance. No wonder he was so calm. Oh my god, most of these guys have no practice, like, no experience. You have, I mean, you can't retreat, but still, it's like, 
Is all, all the people that have no experience? Oh man, that's it! And how can you not? Erwin still stands like that. He can't. And they don't even know what's going on inside. It's a whole different battle. Shit. This is nothing compared to outside there, though. Jesus. All these guys have to have some type of weakness. I, it's, it's hard to realize, like, when you think about it, how big this fucking titan is. How is Aaron gonna knock him over? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Punt! He just punted Aaron! <laughs> God damn! Oh man. They need Armin to get to make a plan or they're gonna be screwed. Can they beat the Colossal Titan though? Even they gotta be careful with those things. Pervert Lord. Oh, the steam. Oh, I forgot about the steam. Oh, shit. Those things can still explode back. Oh, fuck. Yep. Don't use those. They're all relying on him right now. Like the Oh fuck. Welp. Things turn to shit real quick. And Reiner's back up. Yep. Oh uh, We're in a bad situation right here. Information available for public disclosure. The Colossal Titan Steam. A uh, Titan's special powers are produced by using its own body as a resource. Okay, so as we saw, the Armor Titan using its armor shell to, you know, defend itself. So here, um, so in that way, it is thought the steam emitted by the Colossal Titan consumes muscle tissue and therefore must be finite. Uh, so meaning it uses... Wait, consumes muscle tissue. So that means it can only use so much, right? The In the same sense, it can only use so much steam if it's consuming muscle tissue. You only have so much. Okay, so there, it's not like uh, you don't have... There's Their abilities are not unlimited. There we go. It's a, that They're not impossible to beat. Now, um, I guess that would be the only weakness you can see right now is that he can only use so much steam. Can you make him utilize, use like as much steam as he possibly can and then attack and, and use the um, thunder rods? Now that's a possibility. How strong is this guy? Like, it just seems impossible. He's not gonna flee. See, when you're not prepared, when you're not prepared, you're gonna be like that. Ooh, that's actually kind of true. Other than the horses you have, it's never what they expect. Like, if you're gonna die for something, you want it to be for a cause, and yeah. God. What's the uh, definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result? So they probably think people are insane? <laughs> God. He doesn't have a, you don't have a chance. 
Not with him being able to throw rocks and him being so far away. They still have that syringe, but... The syringe, right? Because if he has another strategy, I don't know. Oh, is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna make him take the syringe. It's a, it's really lose-lose at this point. So he has to tell them that they're going to do something for a reason. Oh, he didn't know that. And Levi followed him probably thinking something different. So he was driven by that. Oh, man. So many deaths. Damn. Shit. He's telling him to give up his dream. Can he do that? Can Erwin do that, though? That's the question. He just seems bored. Oh, man. It's a freak. It's freaking suicide. How is he going to talk them into it, though? How did he do that? <laughs> Wait, there's no... There's no other strategy to it? Oh, he's going through the line. Okay. This is... Uh... <laughs> So that's how he. That's how he talked them into doing it. Everybody's deaths were meaningless. It feels like it in this world. Oh, he he used okay. He used the dead. He has the best speeches. You gotta give it. Irwin has the best speeches. And the best screams to death! Oh! God damn. Charging in to die. We gotta give it up to Erwin. Like, seriously. The, we, we've heard his speeches a few times now. And, like, I feel like he's the only one that could motivate people to just go and die. Like, he's pretty much doing that when you get when he did that speech for them to join the Survey Corps to begin with. You're probably going to die. It's like everyone that joined the Survey Corps already knew that. But he didn't even have to really do much to get them to do it. He just said he just said his normal stuff. But in the way he does it, he could he could really get like anybody to walk into death like he, he has that ability to lead a charge and scream like no he has the screams of no other <laughs> um but you have to feel for him because i i really thought like i thought he wasn't gonna make that decision on um on not dying like i thought he would it just felt like he was doing all this for the base to go to the basement right we learned this we learned like 
he's thinking for himself because he wants to find out what his dad was talking about, all that, if everything was right. And this kind of makes it, you know, not at all, but he thought about the dead and the dead in this world. It seems like the dead, like you die for nothing. In reality, you're dying for nothing because there's no, you're, you know, you're, you're dying for a reason to protect people and the, you know, to, um, you know, save humanity. But if humanity doesn't get saved and you're just going to death, like, of course, you're going to think like, what was this for? Everybody died for no reason. So I guess that was the justification of like, you're going to do, you need to, if we're, if we're going to die, we might as well die fighting. And that's what he used. But I really thought he would have done something or pulled something where he wouldn't, like actually go i'm surprised not that that's that would be against his character but it just at the same time he's let other people die for what he was trying to do but the whole time he's trying to get to the basement so why would he risk his life to do that and in, in the sense it's i guess he just thought about all the dead but it just it just feels weird to me like why he's all the way here and levi made the decision he we use the word again the choice levi lo loves those wo that word the, the choice you got to make a choice he's making the cho he's making the choice this time um so levi can take on the beast titan but um i thought he was going to use the syringe but i don't know how it would work in this situation like he would just turn into a titan but he wouldn't be able to really do much the syringe is good in but I don't know how you're going to utilize it without because you have to eat somebody with abilities. Right. So like because that's how what Aaron did or whatever. And that's what like. So I don't know how he would do. Yeah. I don't know how the syringe would work. And it. it has to be like a particular situation, I would think. Um, but I was thinking there had there was a different strategy to it, but ended up not being uh, he didn't use a different strategy. That's uh, that was surprising to me. Um, but uh, an army not being able to he's I'm even though he was a scaredy cat and like you know as a kid and all that I thought he'd finally it's like Berthold broke him like once he saw through his ruse Armin just doesn't think he's he, his confidence went out the window completely and uh Aaron's acting like his normal self just wanting like full steam ahead you know I I you know I'm gonna kill them I'm gonna beat them and I just we knew this from episode 12 at the end credit scene. We knew things were going to go to shit, but I didn't know to what extent and everybody dying with just the beast, the beast Titan or the chieftain or Zeke, whatever you want to call this guy. He's literally throwing freaking like rocks and like, it's just, it's so simple. It's, it's ridiculous how strong he is like, and how strategized they are. I just, I can't, I can't imagine how crazy this is just so crazy. Um, I uh, can't wait to go to the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching these. If you somehow have not subscribed, please subscribe. Smash that like button. Um, join my Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123 for full reactions and early releases. Um, Twitter, AJRich123. Uh, AJ and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.